Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Luca Studio Expert and the founder of Gaily Rappers. Today, I would like to observe one of my classic templates. Uh, this is Sales Funnel for Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics. If you scroll a bit, you can see link to the template. I will close this link. Let's check what do we have here. I think you could like this template uh, because in, in one page, uh, based on Universal Analytics, you can have your classical funnel that I'm sure you used to see in your previous Google Analytics version. Uh, you can see sessions, sessions with product view, uh, with add to cart, checkouts, and transactions. Here we have only three stages. Um, people who didn't interact with your shop, uh, shop and behavior by user type, by and by device. That is it. Where did you find, where did I pull data? For this template, I pull data from Google Analytics demo account. Um, so we have Universal Anal Analytics demo account and G4 demo account. If we go to the first page of this dashboard, you can see G4 data. If you work with this the first time, you can go here, Google Analytics demo account just uh, you can find link for the article g4 demo account uh, and in this article you can see links for properties just click to this link to add this demo account to your gmail to, to connect your Gmail account for this demo. Um, for example, for this template, I used this property and this one, so merchandise store. Just click here and you have data for testing. So I use this account for my uh, templates because everybody can connect them and it already has some data that we can use to for, for dashboards. So this is how to install a demo account. Just open the article and click to the link. Um, after that, the report will work for you. Uh, for G4, I used I tried to replicate the view that you used to in Universal Analytics, uh, but uh, the data structure is different. So set, set up to stop this dashboard, it could be a bit tricky. Uh, but anyway, we have what we have. Mm, as you see, I did the same structure. Uh, sessions, view item, add to cart, begin checkout and purchase. Here we have more data as Google demo account has more data. We can split data by channel. Uh, this is session, first session channel uh, by device category and country. Of course, you can change this filter for th those you like, you need. Uh, what else do we have? I used here, and uh, let's, I will show you what I used here. I used here community visualization uh, by Power My Analytics metric funnel. I used it because I really like this community visualization and I think for sales funnel it's really great. So use this one. Um, but if you don't like it and you want to use classical funnel, you can use this chart and just remove this one. So I think it's not necessary to use both of them. So if you start to use this template, um, just remove one that you don't like. <coughs> And now I have some pivot tables with shopping behavior, device categories, and uh, shopping behavior by sessions. What is interesting here? So if you have if you just start to work with Looker Studio, probably it will be tricky for you because, for example, here, how did I, uh, where did I found session start? This is event count metric. I just rename it to session start. And here I use filter. Uh, event name equal to session start. Same logic, I set up view item, it's event count with filter view item. Same with these stages. 
For funeral, it's more interesting. Mm. For funeral, I use blended data source that I call J4 sales funeral. Uh, and this blended data source, uh, our first table is J4 with a filter session start. Our table two is J4 with filter view item. Table three, same data source, but I change filter to add to card. And everywhere I change event count to funeral stage. Because of this trick, I could be able to create this funnel. And because of this trick, I can calculate this percentage. For example, this shows like view item divided by session start. This 13% is add, by, add to cart divided by view item. This is begin to count divided by add to cart, same for purchase. And this percentage shows uh, percent from the total. So um, conversion from begin to count to purchase is almost 30%, but conversion from view item to purchase is 1%. Mm, so it's like this. Uh, yeah, sometimes it happens, some bugs. It's fine, you can just reload the page and we'll be fine. So here, same logic. No, here is not the same logic, sorry. Here I use G4 Merge Shop data source. It is not blended data source. But here I use a um, global filter. I use a filter where I add all purchase stages that could be. So if you want to replicate this dashboard for your store, check how do you call your e-commerce event and please add them here and update it uh, based on your events titles. Um, here as a, as a dimension, I use formula case when. Uh, case when session start, please type session start. When event name is view item, uh, it means view item, and so on. Uh, this and I just use the event count as a metric. And this is how this chart works. Mm -hmm. And this is percentage, same stuff as here. So this is blended data. This is blended data source. And just I use formula, simple formula here to calculate the percentage. Shopping behavior by user type. Same logic I used for other tables. All three tables have the same logic. What I have here, here I have uh, Google Analytics for data source, row dimension, I can use any dimension that I like, I can use country, um, for example, we can see our sales funnel by country, but here was new returning and user type, I think it's I don't know, I used to user type and I don't like this new returning title, so I changed it. Uh, funnel stage, I use formula, same formula as I used for this chart. And here I use uh, filter, same filter, uh, with all options, with all event name options that I have here. And that is it. This is how this chart was created. So it takes time. And if you do it for the first time, if you're a beginner with Looker Studio, it could be tricky. I agree, it's not a simple report. Ah, and one, one more interesting thing that I added here. Sorry, sorry, almost forgot. When you see this icon, it means optional metrics. And here I can change events to percentage of total. And here you can see, so 52% of total events comes from view item, 38 for first of for session start, 2% uh, for begin, begin checkout, and so on. So you can see 
percentage. Not only number, you can see percentage. So you can switch on, switch off this data if you want. Yeah, now I think that is it. So if you are a beginner with Looker Studio, this dashboard, it's not super easy because we have blended data, we have a lot of filters here. Mm, even with demo Google Analytics account, it's a bit tricky. And if, but if you want, it is not impossible. You can try to replicate or if you like this template and you don't want to waste your time to create this dashboard from the beginning, you can go to my online store and just buy this template um, and just update it for your case. So I think that is it about this template. Hope you like it. Let me know. Do you use sales funnel for your e-com store? Um, which kind of funnel do you prefer? This one or classical Google Analytics funnel? Yeah, please leave your comments. Hope I really like when you leave comments and I like to talk to you. But I think for today it's that is it. So thank you for your attention and see you soon.